Hi, what's the key to success in reaching your goal and improving your English? This is Susan Broder from Speak Languages and Travel the World, here to help you improve your English with minimum effort and maximum benefit. And today I'd like to tell you what the key to success is in reaching any goal, which in your case is improving your languages. Well, uh, it's something quite obvious. It's constant, regular practice. And however boring that can sound, it's really not as difficult as you think. What you have to do is find things you, that you find exciting to do every day. That could be spending 15 minutes reading a book in English, or listening to a podcast, or uh, writing your shopping list in English, or maybe even a, a piece of diary, something you did in a few lines during the day. It could be um, singing in the shower, or speaking to yourself in the car, in any case trying to practice all the skills. Now, uh, I'm really excited to announce that my daughter has worked really hard for five years and so she is living proof that you can reach your goals and you shouldn't let anyone tell you it's way too hard because I have many students who slowly give up their passions because their school gets more and more demanding and their parents say, oh no, you have to concentrate on school and you'll never be able to do both things well. Well, if you really believe in it, you can do both things well. Of course, that means that you, you have to sacrifice something, which will be a lot of your free time. But many people I know just spend the day frittering it away with social media and watching TV and uh, playing um, useless video games rather than doing something which is really their passion. In my daughter's case, last Friday, she finished five years of uh, demanding high school. She got uh, great satisfaction in her exams and then she hopped onto a plane and left for Portugal because she had to represent her country in the European Inlight Speed Skating Championships. Uh, she uh, left on Friday, arrived on Saturday because they had a few problems with connecting flights. So she arrived quite exhausted. Despite this, the next day, yesterday, she raced and she came home with a gold medal, European champion in that particular race. So what more satisfaction uh, she has reached her goal of finishing school as well as she can and of reaching her European Championship goal. So if you really believe in something you can make it and if you really believe you want to improve your English you can improve it without having to sacrifice as much as my daughter did. But just a little bit of regular constant practice regular constant practice so don't forget that and don't let anyone discourage you i hope that was all and uh, see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe